Are you serious? Are you serious? Greece is broke, busted, and disgusted. And there's no question about it, even though their new president, Alexei Tsipras, is working every possible angle that he can to keep Greece from having to pay an insuperable and impossible debt. Well, let me tell you what just happened, breaking news within the hour. Uh, Greek debt crisis in game. The ECB agrees to pump more money into Greece's banks as Russia now enters the ring. The summit was planned for next Monday, uh, but the banks yesterday and senior government figures uh, came together for an inevitable situation that has to be dealt with. Uh, the ECB is forced to stave off bank collapse. They have to do something. Now, given the news that they'll probably stay alive for another few days, Greek bank stocks up uh, today. Uh, there's plenty of talk at the ELA being pulled from Greece at the end of the month, but the ECB could still significantly tighten the squeeze on banks while keeping the umbilical cord of emergency funding alive. The governing council could do this by raising the haircut or the austerity measures they demand from the banks in return for an em emergency funding. Now, President, the President uh, Draghi has said that the current haircut will be reviewed. In other words, they're going to ask the banks to take a bigger haircut, to take a larger loss in keeping the Greece banking economy alive. Uh, it's it's incredible what's going on here. Now, you do know that Alexis Cyprus literally got up and walked away from a meeting with the IMF, uh, the International Monetary Fund. That happened last week. And the Bilderberg Group was meeting, of course, in Germany. Was it Germany or was it Austria? You know, I forgot. I, might, I can't remember. But they were meeting, and in the meeting they decided that uh, Greece was going to have to take more drastic cuts. More, more of their entitlements would have to be cut. Their, uh, their pension plans would have to be cut, the amount of money people get. Their retirement age would have to go even higher. Their goods and services, the different types of um, entitlement programs for their, so for their society. No more uh, going to college free. I mean, all those kinds of things. And of course, Alexis Cyprus says, no, forget it. Well, here's the thing. They can pull the plug, folks, and then Greece, every dollar in Greece that you're looking at would be worthless, would be useless. But Alexis Cyprus is willing to take this thing all the way to the wall because I, there must be a backup plan. And when I mean that, I mean Russia, China are in discussions of potentially creating their own currency. They could include Greece in this. They could bring in the Iranians, the Venezuelans, uh, some, some more Middle Eastern nations. And they could, and, and uh, basically what could happen is China could say to America, here's the new standard. This is the new uh, amount, this new currency, or this is going to be the reserve standard. And we will tell you now what the dollar's worth. And then that would affect the euro and on down the line, the Asian markets, of course, in Japan and everywhere else. So this is a very, very volatile situation developing. I'm staying on top of it because I understand the domino effect that this could be. And this could be the September surprise, September, October surprise that everybody seems to be gearing up for, uh, including the prophetic word of the end of the Shemitah, uh, which seven every seven years, if a nation's doing well, it seems to receive a blessing. Uh, if it's not, it seems to receive a cursing. And that's based on a biblical principle of the word of God. And I don't see America walking in the light of the love of God right now. I mean, we've got a lot of great Christians in our country, but we've got some serious spiritual wickedness going on in some high places. Trust me, the, the America was established on the word of God but the Illuminati had a seat at the table. Just like when Jesus called his 12 disciples, but one of them was a devil.
and he put his hand in the sop the night that Christ was betrayed. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're living in the last days. And pray for the people of Greece. Seriously, pray for the nation of Greece. There, could you imagine living there not knowing oh, the, the instability of your nation? This absolute chaos that could occur. The new world order is rising. I'll call it what it is. The Bible says the beast with seven heads and ten horns. Revelation 13, 1. It is rising. We're in the last days. Are you saved? I'm asking you, have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Have you been born again? Repent of your sins and just let Jesus in your heart. You know, come on to my live broadcast today, 12 noon Eastern, from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern, because I give an altar call every day, an opportunity for you to type, just type right in the chat room, I want to be saved. We'll pray with you live. God bless.